Hi, I'm Janetta Rachel. Welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe. Hi, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna um, perform one of the COVID tests. And these are the tests that you can order up free online. And I link the website in the video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, actually perform this test to show you guys how I do the test. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a healthcare professional, so seek the advice of your doctor, pharmacist, or any medical profession if you uh, have any questions about this test. Again, I'm only showing you how I use the test. All right, so this is um, the box that it comes in. And these are the contents. You get two tests in each box. You get the, um, the testing card. You get the swabs, two swabs. And you also get uh, two of these. These are the vials. Yeah, it's another one in here. And you also get the instructions. Now, since I've done this before, I don't, really don't need to use the instructions. Um, so I'm just gonna put those to the side. Okay, and this is the card that comes in um, the packet. And it looks like a pregnancy test, but on one side it has, um, or C or T, and the other side, it has uh, a place where you actually put your sample, you put three drops of your samples in this side, on this side, and your results are on this side. So you do have to take the swab, and you have to insert it inside your nose, um, both nostrils, and kind of just swirl it around. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this. Now, some of the samples already have a mix already, um, poured into the little vials, but this one doesn't. So you just have to take the top off of this and pour it inside the vial or the tube. And it twists right off. So just put that inside. Okay, so you squeeze all of the contents in there, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's the liquid and it's filled up to about right here. And this is the top that it goes on. So I'm going to place the top back on it until I get my sample. Okay, and here is the swab. Okay, so once you get your sample, you put it inside of the, the little tube and you swirl it around at least about 15 times just to make sure that the sample gets mixed in the solution. Okay. That should be good. And just try to squeeze it against the side just to make sure you get all of the solution inside. So you may you should take this swab and go ahead and dispose of it. So I just stick it back in here so I can dispose of it. And I put the top back on it. And I just, just turn it over once. You may not have to do that, but I just turn it over. And then you're gonna take um, your card, your test card. <laughs> and it says to put three drops in it. One drop, two drop, three drops. And you may want to go ahead and just close this back up and dispose of this. And then you wait 15 minutes. And if you have one line, <coughs> I have to show you once it finishes. But the C line is the line that um, is going to be on our test. The C is going to be filled in. You will have a line uh, on the C, where below the C. Now, if you have a line 
underneath the T, that means you're positive. But I'll show you guys uh, once uh, I finish taking this test. And again, all the instructions are in here. So I wait 15 minutes and I'll let you know what happens. Okay, I'm back and I looked at my test results and I am negative. So I told you before that there's gonna be um, one line on the C and if you have a line where the T is, that means you're positive. And I don't have a line where the T is, so that means I'm negative. Okay, so I'm back with an update. So that's why you have to really make sure you wait, wait the entire 15 minutes um, because I was premature. I am showing a line. It's a very, very faint line underneath the T, and I know you won't be able to see it on camera, but the very, very faint line still means a positive. So I have tested positive. I'm still testing positive. Just wanted to give you an update.